Mei J. McGowan, I'm the Chief Technology Officer for Unicorn Media. Unicorn Media is a technology company that it, uh, provides a, a solution we call Unicorn Once that enables uh, the dynamic optimization of video content across any IP enabled device as well as dynamic insertion of advertising into those streams so that we can truly enable monetization across all platforms for the first time. So 2012 was a great year for us. In late 2011, we took our Once product uh, sort of to market. And over the course of 2012, we've uh, been able, to, fortunate enough to be able to sign up most of the major broadcasters in the US. Uh, the ones who haven't signed yet are either in testing or at the five yard line. So we've been wildly successful on the VOD side in allowing people to increase their mobile monetization by two or 300%, in some cases even larger than that. So what we do is really create net new inventory for them. I guess what's really exciting that's going on right now is we just released our live product, um, carried a bunch of the election re related coverage, uh, inauguration, things like that. Um, to sort of our debut to the world, if you will. And with the live product, we're enabling monetization onto any HLS enabled device, now, stripping out the broadcast ads and replacing those ads on a per user basis for each targeted stream. And when I say every HLS enabled device, something that's really important to distinguish there is because we condition both the stream and the advertising content in the stream, that works everywhere. So we give Android the flavor of HLS that it's looking for, a Bravia TV the flavor it's looking for, a Roku, it's not just iOS. It's really about 85% of the uh, device traffic that we see out there is HLS enabled when using the Unicorn platform. That's where you're at now. So where are you taking the platform and how does 2013 look? We're working on some really exciting things right now. So 2012 was all about VOD. 2013 we see the advent of live. And then in addition to that, we've also released a new product that we call Once UX. Once UX enables our customers to, for the first time, not only leverage all of the value and um, uh, flexibility of our dynamic ad insertion on the server side, but also to be able to take all of the metadata about their advertising experience and in places where it does make sense to build out a rich client, to still be able to leverage all of that metadata to do things like block the scrub bar controls or uh, provide for click-through or companion banners. So with Unicorn UX, you really get the best of both worlds, all of the power and flexibility of our ability to insert ads on the server side, along with all of the metadata so that where it makes sense, you can build out a richer client. What is Unicorn's perspective on the industry where it's at now? There's so much talk about it still being in its infancy, still an experimental state. The conversation about it, we're at a tipping point, especially with live. What, what's Unicorn's perspective? Unicorn's perspective on the industry as a whole is that we really are at a tipping point. You know, if you were to compare this, for instance, to the conversion from terrestrial broadcast to cable broadcast, we're probably at roughly 1978 or maybe the early 80s. So we're definitely still in early days there's a massive opportunity that's still in front of us and people are experimenting. There's a lot of fragmentation in the marketplace, there's a lot of complex problems and we solve a lot of those problems so it's great for our business that there's uh, sort of all of this complexity um, but we're definitely in the early days. I think that throughout 2013 we'll continue to see growth particularly now that we're allowing our customers to monetize their content effectively on all platforms. That spurs those folks forward to actually putting that content out to more platforms so I think we'll still continue to see lots and lots of organic growth and I think we're going to see lots of different models being applied and we're, we're really excited as a back-end technology vendor because we make it a lot easier for people to experiment and to try different things as they build those audiences. Some of the coolest things that we're seeing our customers do either in R&D modes or in the labs or just in their product development modes are really about multi-screen experiences. Now, because of the way our technology works, we make it very easy for them to synchronize between different devices um, and to pass different stream types that are going to be applicable across the vast multitude of devices. So we see folks really starting to get imaginative um, throughout 2013 with how the ad experience works, how the content experience works. Um, we think that there's a lot of cool stuff to be done there. I think um, in a very similar vein, um, we're starting to see people experimenting uh, with our technology to create, uh, if you will, a simulated live experience. Very little content is actually true live. You know, if you think sports and weather and news, that's really the only stuff that's really live. The rest of it's all in the can. Um, the ONCE technology enables us to build up a simulated live experience uh, in the cloud so that not only are the ads being targeted to the user, um, but it makes it very flexible in terms of the, the channels that you want to be able to provide. So we're starting to see people experimenting with that, and I think that there's a huge opportunity there. What are some of the challenges you see facing the industry as a whole 
uh, in terms of getting beyond you know the late seventies, early eighties, where we're at now, to you know just a more fully immersive uh, experience for producers, for consumers, for companies like yourself. Sure, I think um, I think that when you start to look at the challenges that are still facing people around how do I actually have a comprehensive strategy for delivering content out to all of these different devices and really taking my television content to the next level, a lot of the hard technical problems that were left to Unicorn solves for our customers. So a lot of this is starting to become about the friction in the monetization process on the business side. How do you uh, make an optimal experience from the person who's actually buying the ad, the brand who's buying the ad, all the way out to the end consumer and make sure that you're satisfying all constituencies in that value chain. I think that's probably the biggest problem that's uh, that's remaining to be solved in the industry. One of the one of the big challenges there, of course, being a common us unit of measurement or currency, uh, depending on your parlance. But I think that uh, there's a lot of smart people working on that problem. We're seeing a lot of traction in that space now that there's real dollars involved. And let me just ask your perspective as as a um, somebody who's been in the industry for a long time has been you know in in your position as a chief technology officer the whole platforms and mpeg dash and webm webm and i mean is there really a story there or is it you know is is it ultimately for the consumer and publishers, um, you know, is that or is that something that's more from Unicorn's perspective that it's more your problem than, say, producer or consumer? So when we look at the fragmentation of the marketplace in general, whether you're talking device type fragmentation, codec fragmentation, delivery protocol fragmentation, those are the problems that we solve for people. So we make it so that our publishers don't need to worry about that. We give them, they give us a file, we give them one file back, uh, they have one URL they can to any IP enabled device and we're going to deliver out the optimal play out experience. So whether that's MPEG Dash at some point in the future, or it's HLS or progressive download or whatever it happens to be, we take all of the complexity out of that because at the end of the day that really should be uh, something that's on a technology provider like us to worry about, not on a publisher and certainly not on an end user. We want end users to have seamless broadcast like experiences and I think that a big theme that you're going to see over the next 12 to 18 months is as more dollars are being added to this business, as it's starts to scale up, how do you make it dial tone, if you will? You know, there's a there's a, an expectation from users, whether they're paying for content or whether they're consuming it in an ad-supported way. Um, in either case, when we're talking about premium content being delivered out to massive audiences, it's got to just work. Um, and I think that we're going to see a huge amount of emphasis on making that just work. And for folks such as ourselves, you know, that's really going to be the continued, uh, the continued sort of measure of our success, is making sure that we achieve the same operational standards that people are used to in the broadcast world. A year from now, where do you think we'll be? The industry, again, content consumption, and then Unicorn, where, where do you think, you know, looking out, when we meet up again at this conference next year? <laughs> Sure. So when I look 12 to 18 months into the future, obviously I don't have a, a crystal ball, but I'm happy to prognosticate a little bit. So when I look 12 to 18 months into the future, what I see is just massive growth. I think if you look 12 months back, it, it would be completely impossible to have anticipated how much growth we've seen over the course of the last 12 months. I think that uh, the number of devices, the, the devices are getting better, the operating systems are getting better. I think what we're going to see now is really a growth story. I think a lot of the technology problems have been solved at this point. Point. We certainly have a role to play in that. A lot of the ad decisioning problems have been solved. A lot of those things have been solved. And so, while there's certainly challenges that are you know, left going forward, both on the business and the technology side, and interesting things to work on, I think that the big theme for the next 12 to 18 months is going to be scale. Scale, scale, scale. How do I get to more users in more places and give them a consistent, high quality broadcast-like experience?